Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, the video today is going to be a little bit different. Um, bought this car, the one I'm in now. Um, the guy I bought from, he said the car have a gearbox problem. Yeah, and apparently they take to the, um, the car to the mechanic and they couldn't fix the problem or his use was too expensive to fix so for you guys to have an idea I paid 1500 pounds for this car and it was about three grand um, been looking for a gearbox and the guy knows the gearbox is like 800 pounds you know he still can make profit on but um, he decided no I'm not gonna fix it I'm not gonna sell it the way it is, he's, he's a trader, you know, he's not private, he's not somebody private, he's a trader, he bought the car willing to fix and sell it, but he haven't done, but the car's been to, to a mechanic, look at the state of this A pillar, blood, yeah, this is bad, it's fucking dirty, some... Um, weird, weird, because I scanned the gearbox, it's a an, um, DSG, let me turn it around, it's a DSG 7 speed, it's in park at the moment, like you guys can see, um, no fault codes, yeah, it's no fault codes, so that's a little bit weird, I already check all the fuses and that, the fuse is fine, but the only weird thing, when the I shift uh, reverse, neutral, and the pass the gas doesn't do anything. Normally, when something like that happens, we'll throw you a fault code. But it's not a fault code. You put it in sport, it goes to sport. But the weird thing, when you shift to manual, it's saying seven. So this is a seven speed gearbox. So it's stuck in seven. But still not moving. But I've been looking under the engine and somebody been fucked about with it. Um, I think the previous, the guy I bought from, they, they attempted to repair it and they couldn't. Like you guys can see here, it's really bad, you know. But if I take my car to a garage and somebody does that to my car, I'll be probably upset, but never mind. So, yeah. Somebody been messing about with there is somebody broken the air filter box and I can see the gearbox leaking fluid as well. So I need to take it to my garage. Yeah. That's the car's not my house because it's my private car. Um take it there, jack it up and we're gonna start take the mechatronics, see what they like. Uh, but it's not gonna be today because today is snowing. I don't think you guys can see. It's only a little bit, but it's snowing. So um, yeah, let's see what's what's wrong with this. See, you guys can see it's snowing. So guys, I have removed the mechatronics. I don't know if you guys can see. There, it look like metal. This stuff here looks like metal. Um, I don't know. I never took one of those apart. I have done on the um, SQ250, but I never done on the 200. So, don't know really. Should I send this mechatronics for testing or should I strip the gearbox because of this stuff there? Mm. I'm gonna take it apart and see what it looks like from inside. So guys, um, I removed the gearbox because initially I thought it was the mechatronics fault. But I don't think it's a mechatronics fault. I don't know if you guys can see. This selector fork inside here it doesn't move at all and is in gear so i don't know which gear is that but i think it's a gearbox fault uh, because normally when, when the mechatronics is is gone 
you have fault codes and all of that. But I didn't have anything. And as I have the receipt to repair the mechatronics as well, did make me wonder if the mechatronic is fault. So I don't think it's mechatronic fault. So I'm gonna take the gearbox apart and see what's like inside. I never have to take one of those gearbox apart, but these tiffs here, like you guys can see, they do engage on them. Where's the light? There it is. They do engage on these tiffs here. So and the flywheel is good. Clutch, I don't know. I never have to take one of those apart, but I'm probably gonna have to. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I like challenge, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you what's wrong inside the gearbox. To be honest, I think it was the bearings, where is the thing slide, the, the fork, selector fork. But until I take it apart and see what's wrong inside, I don't know. So. Yeah, let's do it. So I removed the um, cover on the gearbox. Guys, look what I found. This plastic. Looks like plastic. See inside the case. But yet, I don't know what this is to be honest. But I'm gonna have to take it down a bit further and see what's what. So yes guys, I found the problem, I think that plastic is the things for the bearing, but if you guys look on inside there, and this moves, but it doesn't catch on that, I hope you guys can see it, well, literally, um, the selectors that didn't move, because this cog puts pressure into this side, so that's why the selectors don't move, but you guys can see there's somebody's been here a big time, bloody out. So I take the, um, the gears off, look what I found. Um, forgive me wrong, I never take one of those gearbox apart, but I do assume this bearing has to be aligned with the, with the cog, it's like offset now. You <laughs> see? Like, I've never seen something like that before, to be honest. And look at where the bearing goes. You know, this car must be hattling and all, all sorts of noise when the when it was driving. Um, but yeah, look at the state of the bearing. I believe if I hit with a hammer, the pump will break it. It shouldn't be offset. It's been overheating so bad that yet I'll try to pull this off. Um, yes, I take this apart. And like you guys can see, the bearing was welded on. I have to cut and everything. You guys can see. Uh, this is all twist. So um, whatever somebody before did a mess here or you know, this is really, really bad. I never seen nothing like that. You know, it's... Oh uh, yeah. So now I'm gonna have to... Um, to buy a gearbox for it, or... See if I can find a shaft like this. So yes, guys, for, for this video is gonna be it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna rebuild this gearbox or not, but if I do rebuild it, I'll record it again. And... Um, yeah, make sure you like, share and subscribe for new content. Stay tuned. See you on the next one.